Good morning, everyone. Hey, Diamond VIP. Hey, guys. Um, have you ever had anyone who asks you to participate on their dreams, but they don't ever, they're nowhere to be found to participate on your dreams? What I mean by that is um, every morning we wake up to a call, a text, or something. And to be honest with you guys, it's astronomical um, amounts of calls, number one, right? Um, and then it's astronomical what the ask is. And when you make yourself a public figure or say you're, you're known to be someone who fights through adversity, what people tend to think is they identify that with bank. And I wonder why if living in this tax code in America, those same people never identify with tax. I think people, and I've said this before, are not selfless. They're selflessly selfish. Okay? So they're really big on what's going on in their lives. They're really big on what's hurting them. They're not big on what's hurting you. And they spend two seconds on what your pain is, right? And people ask me, well, why do you pray so much? Why are you this? Because people will wear you out. They will wear you down to the nub and they will leave you in the dust. The same people that are asking you for help circumstantially, you probably cannot find when the time comes to help you. And this can be seen in the movie Pursuit of Happiness. It was a gentleman named Wayne and Will Smith's character had lent Wayne some money. You probably remember it. And it was just a few dollars, right? But then Will gets kicked out of his place and Wayne didn't want to give Will no money. And he said, Wayne, I'm gonna need my money, Wayne. I'm gonna need my money, Wayne. That's how people really are. And in society today, one of the reasons why I built Diamond VIP for those of you who are confused is because everybody's selfish. I'll make it easy. Everybody's selfish, right? It's about my dream, my hope, my ambition, right? What I'm gonna do where I'm going, what I'm gonna be. It's not the collective of community. And if you're a person who in your mind, the back of your mind has never, never, never been about community, you need this group. And you need it not for the money that it can earn you, but for the life lessons that you learn. You need to learn how to be a more not giving person, because it's easy to say when you're a giving person, I don't have money to give, so that must not be God's thing for me. Let me tell you something. If you didn't step into the light when God told you to step into the light, Spirit keeps telling you to do things, but you keep saying, but I don't want to do that. I mean, I don't, I'm not, okay. And, and my number one pet peeve is when I'm dealing with someone who'll say to me, well, that's not something that I do. But well, you saying, I, I mean, bro, I don't sing. Bro, you can hold a tune. You can give God glory. I don't think anywhere in heaven somebody's recording, well, he sounded better than him. So his glory must be better than his glory. That's not happening. So we make up all of these ridiculous things in our head. And then we go seeking the people where we see the least path of resistance. And I wanna say this because there's too many of us that are wearing people out. COVID should have taught you a lesson. We're all tired. Everybody's tired. No one could outrun or outpace COVID. No one could do it. And yet you go back to your simple way of thinking again, over again, and you didn't change a doggone thing, but gain 50 more pounds during COVID. That's all you did. You didn't change a whole, you, I mean, you had a chance to evolve. And let me tell you what that chance was like. And I'm gonna tell you what it felt like when COVID hit for Brian Lamont Roberts. It felt like when Brian went homeless and I thought to myself, oh my God, now everybody's homeless. So they should understand. Unfortunately for me, some of you haven't been fighting. So when COVID happened, unfortunately, all you did was become more depressed. And you said, oh my God, I can't see my way out. I'm holding a conversation with a Jay Ahongo earlier today. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you haven't, I've had people come to Las Vegas and they say, I can't find work. I'm like, bro, cause you're not a work creator. 
I'm a work creator. My father taught me how to create work. I knew how to cook. I knew how to make money. Some of y'all got too much pride. I don't have that much pride. I might be sitting in a Porsche today, but baby, I was sitting in a 94 Volvo wagon just as happily. So I've been consistent the whole way. And I've been turning my ideas into realities. I don't sit there and wait on an, on an idea. This is not the season of waiting on an idea. You can do something quickly, it could go viral, but because you have to overanalyze every single thought, you keep coming up short. And your actual report card keeps showing up. I love this. I used to work with a salesman. He said, my report card is payday. So I don't need your motivation. And some of y'all need more motivation than your payday because for whatever reason, your payday ain't meeting your bills. And you still looking for some motivation. Are are y'all serious right now? Oh, I guess you're spoiled. I guess you're spoiled because you can go to GoFundMe and you can raise a little something, something real quick. And then you disappear off into the stratosphere. That's what I'm talking about. I said some things have made us weaker. They've made they've made you weak. There are, there are stores everywhere. There's business people everywhere. You're walking around going on the internet because they said that the only way you can get a job at that place is to go on the internet and go through the process. Let me tell you something. You don't even need a process. You don't even need a process if you're busy and about your business. You won't even need a process, folks, if you're doing that. And yet you play this game. And so I'm not here to fuss at you. But Grant Cardone said, I always say yes. He said, because every yes leads me to another opportunity. And I want you to understand something. What that means is when one of your friends gets online and they got a Zoom call and you're known as being a person that won't even waste, let's call it waste, 20 minutes of your life to hear whatever it is they're about to say shame on you and you're wondering why you can't build relationships you can't build relationships because you ain't friendly you can't build relationships because you're judgmental you can't build relationships because you're always thinking that there's there's something negative in it look have some self-control tell your friend no i don't want to do the thing but guess what sometimes when you walk in the room opportunity is waiting on you and i'm not always talking about the opportunity of a new deal sometimes it's the opportunity of the relationships that you're able to build Come on, folks. I need some folks to get it. Because you sat here and watched me. God said, make yourself a sacrifice. That's what he told me. Brian, you be a sacrifice and you show them what it's like to sacrifice. And here I go every single day working my behind off, showing you what it is to sacrifice. And some of y'all say the same thing you said yesterday. I can't find people. I don't know how to make that. Let me tell you something. I'm giving you a multitude of ways to find your way out. And here's the thing. I'm going by the instruction that God gave me. See, COVID put the intensity and the fire on my own behind. And it said, Brian, if you die, do you want to keep all that stuff in your head? And I said, no, Lord, I really don't. And I really didn't care. I'm giving you stuff at no no price whatsoever. If you got an ounce of motivation, you can take one of the things I've said over the last three and a half years and you should be jamming in your life. That's just the truth. I'm going to tell it to you like it really is because it's about to go up for a price. Okay, so if you haven't enjoyed what you got up until now, I'm going to tell you, okay? I'm going to make some more money on it, though. Because at the end of the day, I know the value of Brian Lamont Roberts. I don't think you do. And that's okay. I'm not here to prove to you who I am. I can be a silent assassin for the rest of my life. And trust me, I'll do just fine. I'll roll up in a Bentley and you'll be trying to figure out how he got that Bentley. See, I decided that I was going to reverse engineer my thoughts. Instead of walking around in the city, going down Rodeo Drive, and trying to figure out how those people made it without asking them a question shortest distance between two points is a straight line if you ask someone a question you might find the answer now i didn't say you're gonna like the answer because it might cause you to dig ditches you might not like digging ditches you not might be you might be a, a ditch averse i don't like dig, digging ditches now it may if it's gonna be about me digging ditches that's gonna be a problem and to those people that have made this announcement that I tried this and that didn't work. I tried that and that didn't work. Let me tell you something. You went to New York and got scammed. You went to New York and you picked up some stuff on the street and it smelled like licorice because it wasn't even real leather. And you got scammed. You went to New York and the handle fell off that purse before you got on your flight and you paid a $200 for that doggone 
knock off Louis Vuitton. You did that and you did not complain, but yet when it comes to investing in yourself and you caught one little failure, you use the complaining this sucker on the street. And you know why? It's because you've not yet believed in yourself. That's the reason. It's just that you haven't believed in yourself. And I can speak on this because I've been you. Brian has not believed in himself quite well before. I sucked at believing in myself. Believing in yourself is hard. There's a lot of things in life that are hard and believing in yourself is one of them. Hard. Never gonna be easy for you to believe in yourself. My people, I want the best for you. I need you to want the best for you. The way that starts or begins is in your mirror. That mirror is not lying to you this morning. It's telling you the truth about you. It's telling you how you think about you. It's telling you what you want to do, where you want to be, where you want to go. It is telling you everything it is that you need to know. That is your mirror and that is your conscious. Your job is to record what your conscious is saying, not to accept the negative thoughts that are going on in your head. Someone said you were ugly, baby, you are beautiful. Your, your job is not to accept that crap. And you're running around here and you're accepting it and I have a problem with it. And I'm gonna fight you with it as long as you keep accepting it. That's just the God's honest truth. I have no time for your acceptance of mediocrity. I will not let it happen. I was the brokest Negro in the room. My credit score said, nigga, please. That's what my, I'm gonna just tell it like, <laughs> I'm gonna say it like it really is, like I would say it on stage. Nigga, are you serious? You, you, you wanna buy a car with your broke down, depressed self. How are you gonna buy a car, Brian Lamont? That's what my conscience said. It's time to get real. It's time to get real. And it's time to tell yourself that it's time out for talking about myself like a dog. It's time out for allowing other people to talk about me like a dog. It's time out for living like a cretin, some creature that needs to crawl up out of a ditch or a dungeon. It's time to believe that I can be something new. That for you, my friend, would be something new. Otherwise, you're gonna keep getting involved in things and finding your way out of things because you quit so easily. It's hard to change. It is, it's gonna take some work to change. But I dare you to tell yourself today is the day of change. Today is the day of change. I had a meeting with uh, Kevin Williams, wonderful meeting. Man's coming to town, we're gonna talk again today. Kevin owns um, Columbia School of Broadcasting in Chicago, Illinois. Um, he wants to work with myself and my wife and you, if you'll let him, on a project called New Hollywood. It's time for us as the body of Christ to rise up. This is an app, it's a virtual app. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities financially in it. And I don't forget View It TV. I don't forget gifted. I don't forget uh, the things that we're doing. But guys, it's time to organize and rise. It's not time to play. It's time to get that money. It's time to be about that money. It's time to get that money. This process has been a long journey. It's been a long journey for me in my life. Trust me, it was never an easy journey. But like I told you before, if you commit with me, God showed me that your journeys can be three to five years. That's right, I said it, three to five years. If you're 55, we're talking about a time you're 58, no more than 60, retired properly. Has anybody done the math on uh, positivity or would you like for me to do it for you? If you had $100,000 in positivity, you now have $36,000 toward the end of the year, if it can draw that 36%. Even if it draws 33% or a little bit less and it's been averaging that 36, you're talking about $33,000. And you running around here trying to figure out if you can do an Uber job. No, you need to understand money. That's what you need to do. I can remember the days when we started out with our mentor and he told us, he said, if you can get to a million dollars, I can show you a way that you can draw off of that million dollars close to $100,000 every single year without working people off your dividends, off your capital gains, you're gonna earn this money, okay? And these, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for you who don't understand to be invested in Africa with a micro loan. If I have $50,000, my friends, and that's 
30% and it's actually 36, but if it's 30% times 50, that's $15,000 a year, extra money. Now you can compound that money and earn even more, or you can take that money at the end of the year. Those are some options you've never had. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an example. 15,000 isn't a whole lot to buy a car, but boy, 15,000 will sure take that $30,000 car down to a $15,000 car. Or you can actually take 10,000 of that money, and now that's a $20,000 car, and that's a $430 payment, or 440 payment, somewhere in there, and a much more affordable budget, budgeted lifestyle. And you know you're gonna get a dividend the next year, so guess what, you can pay the car off the next year. It's up to you how you wanna do it, but you get, you get choices in life when you learn how to manage money. This is the bottom line, and this is why other people are advancing while you're struggling, because you're just not listening. You're working hard, and you keep working harder, and your body's falling apart, but you're not listening, okay? Now, a million dollars in same set account 30% would bring you $300,000 or 36%. And I'm gonna give you an example of what we have talked about and discussed, okay? So you got my man over here, Tim. Tim's over here killing the game. Tim could actually be earning off the money that he's bringing in like a mad dog. Now that, my friend, is insane. Why haven't you signed up yet? Why haven't you gotten started yet? Why haven't you believed yet? I'll give you the answer. It's because your mirror keeps saying those same negative things your mirror used to say to you. And you can't seem to shake your mirror. God bless. Love you to life.